Yo, what's up YouTube, it's your boy Sona, or Caleb here today, and today I'm giving you my thoughts on Rogue One and Scare of DLC. <clears throat> the gameplay you are seeing right now is the Space Battle Infiltration, which is, takes place above Scare. if you've seen the movie or not. Please click off this video right now and go watch it because there will be spoilers up ahead and I kind of already spoiled something, so might we add a warning you know, before the video but if you have seen the movie then you're welcome to keep watching and because it's about to get real so basically um in the movie uh towards the end they get to scare right so you have your characters Jin and her little i can't remember captain captain cassie and some i don't remember all their names i'm kind of stupid like that but i just don't um so they're infiltrating the, the base and they get in with the imperial shuttle well in this scare of DLC, it takes place right then and there. So you have all these different modes like uh, Turning Point, Walker, Walker Assault, stuff like that. You have your basic stuff, but uh, it all takes place by landing pads, like on the beach of the scare. Which it's, 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 scare's been out for a while, so I think it has at least. Um, so you might as well have already known about this. But for the space battles, the space battles are actually pretty cool in my opinion because you do get the chance to fly the new U-Wing Starfighter, which is pretty cool. Uh, I actually get to fly it later on in this clip, so when it happens, you get to see it. But uh, actually, I'm, I didn't have a cockpit. That's the kind of thing that's the problem with you can't actually get inside the cockpit of the U-Wing fighter. Uh, but speaking of fighters, uh, forgive me because I suck at space battles. I used to be good at Battlefront 1 in the land and Battlefront 2 in space, but now I just suck with Um, Anyways, so basically... Um, I'm gonna really collect my thoughts. Basically, you're sitting here and you're either defending the U wings and letting them get to the little tractor beam like shield thing that lets fighters into scare. So, uh, in later in the gameplay, you'll see me actually attempt to get there, which I fail at, just letting you know ahead. Um, but if you're not playing as a U-Wing, you're basically just doing your regular space battle with the intent of, well, escorting the U-Wings, as you can see right there. And, uh, you random players are selected to become U-Wings. And also, if you hear any noise in the background, for you, that's my dogs. They're not one sitting right behind me. Um, but I'm actually pretty pleased with how the DLC came out. You do get to be the new, uh, Shore Troopers, which are great. I, those are, like, my favorite Star Wars characters, besides the, uh, Death Troopers? Death Troopers, yeah, I think that's what they're called. Um, because they're pretty cool. Um, Jin Erso, uh, I haven't gotten to play with her, but I'm pretty sure she is in this uh, as a uh, hero. I may be wrong. I know Chewbacca's here. Chewbacca is a hero in this, um, in this DLC, which I don't really think is a... I don't get that, because he wasn't in the movie, and he comes on later. Like, he didn't even, like, they didn't even fight for the rebellion yet, but you know, I guess they ran out of DLC heroes to put in the DLC, so, you know, that's probably the reason why. But, uh, I also want you guys to leave me feedback on how you think Rogue One and Scarif DLC is, if you have seen both or bought, you know, one of the two. Um, now Rogue One, in my opinion, the movie was actually pretty good, did a good, good uh, did a good way of linking Star Wars Episode 3 and Star Wars Episode 4 together in that gap, uh, because, spoiler ahead, that in the last part of the movie, when Darth Vader, you see this Darth Vader, Turns on his lightsaber, activates it, and he starts slicing up all the rebels right through the ship as they're trying to escape with the Death Star plans. You see him hand it to Captain, or not the Captain, just the Rebel Soldier, and that is Tantive 4, and it ends with Tantive 4 leaving and Space Shuttle pursuing it, which actually is the opening scene, if you don't know, to uh, Episode 4 New Hope. So that's actually a really cool thing, in my opinion. They do have a few Easter eggs, because in the when they're in that scene with Mon Mothma, you get a good look at Mon Mothma, you get a look at, um, Bail Organa, but also they paid Captain Antilles, Antilles uh, which if you don't know, that is also the captain of Tantive 4, episode 4, the one who gets choked. Uh, if you don't remember what he looks like, just go watch episode 4. He's like the first, he's the rebel who gets choked, basically, at the beginning of the movie. Or they might have been talking about um, the pilot Wedge Antilles, which he fought alongside Luke in an X Wing fighter. Uh, kind of like the one you're seeing right here. Oh, hey look, it's the gameplay. It's me being a U-Wing. So, enjoy that in the background while I'm rambling on. 
or you know they may be talking about him because he is the only one to survive all three of that we were sure of all three uh, battles uh, indoor Death Star and I think he was at Death Star too. I might be wrong on that, but you know, that's how it works. Um, but yeah guys, so I really hope you did enjoy this video, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Please leave a like, leave a comment, uh, go follow me on Snapchat for your constant updates. Peace out everybody.